everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica and on today's video we're we'll unboxing my ipsy glam bag ultimate for september 2020 before we get into this if you were not aware i do have my own online clothing boutique it is nimities.com the link is in the description bar down below if you're curious if not that's okay too also if you like this video while you're watching go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below if you have not yet and you would like to be go ahead and hit subscribe and the little bell to get notified when i upload new videos and if you have any comments leave those in the comment section down below all right let's go ahead and get into the ipsy glam bag ultimate for september 2020 so i'm gonna go ahead and just pull this open that is what it looks like inside there it is I'm gonna pull that little card out oh, i see something i like there's the box the thing that i like and this might sound really stupid to some of you guys but they brought the card back <laughs> The car that has all the information on it. I am so happy. Um, the reason why I'm so happy is because it makes my life a lot easier when I'm showing you the items. I like to read a little bit about the items that are in the box, let you know what it is that Ipsy finds important on the items. And what they have been doing is just leaving like, I just unboxed my plus box, which you would have seen yesterday and it has nothing on the card. So I have to go to the Ipsy website and read from there. And the fact that it's on the card makes it so much easier for me and makes me so happy. So the little things in life. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead into the box. It makes me very, very happy to get that. Um, let's go ahead into the box and start pulling the actual products out. Some of which I'm very excited to have as well. So let's pull this out first. This is the Hello Ganic. Uh, natural and organic facial sheet mask. I think there's three in here is what it looks like. It says one a day sheet mask set. And this says that it has, okay. The same way you need a wardrobe to dress for your mood and the weather, your skin needs a mask wardrobe for every issue, which is where this sheet mask set comes in. There's one for hydration, anti-aging, and deep clean, so you're bound to have an option for everything. Tip, don't throw the pouch away after you've used the mask. That leftover essence is like liquid gold for your skin. Use it as you would a serum, working it over your face, neck, and chest. So... Yeah, this one is brightening. This one over here is hydrating. So I guess the one on the in the center is the anti-aging. Um, okay, the Ipsy HQ review. It says, I'm a self-proclaimed sheet mask aficionado, and this set is no joke. My skin looked much glowier, and it didn't leave any annoying resi residue. From Maddie Aberman, beauty editor. So, all right. I'm just so excited I have the card. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and pull this out because this makes me super happy as well. This is a Moda brush. These are not expensive at all, but these are some of the most favorite brushes that I have. These and Luxie brushes. I love Moda brushes. I love Luxie brushes. Now I have some more expensive ones that I do enjoy, um, but these ones I love probably the most just because they are so affordable. So this looks like it is, this says it's a blush brush. I thought it might be a contour brush, but it says it's a blush brush, which makes sense. And I like the color too. Blue is my favorite color. All right. So this is the Royal and Langnickel Moda Neon Angle Contour Blush Brush. So it is a contour, contour and blush. All right, so your beauty kit needs this vegan and cruelty-free makeup brush from Royal and Langnickel. The pro quality bristles seamlessly blend highlighter and contour powders and even and can even be used to set your under eye area makeup too. I can see that. Uh, so much, yes. Tip, for an all over glow, use this brush to highlight the high points of your face, aka your cheekbones, the bridge of your nose, cupid's bow, and brow bones, so. My favorite highlighter brush is a Moda brush, actually. Uh, this is it right there. Actually, it's not the Moda line, but it is Royal and Langnickel. This is the Highlight and Glow BMD 265. Um, I don't think they make this anymore. I got it at Walmart in a kit with like a bunch of other ones, but this is my favorite highlighter brush of all time. And um, I hope it never fails me or never falls apart or breaks. I have a backup one, not of this brush, but a backup highlighter brush that I like as well. That is from, hold on. Uh, this one from Milani, I like as well, but the Royal Langnickel is uh, my absolute ride or die brush for highlighter. I love it so much. All right, moving on. Let's pull this out. What is this? 
This is from Gold Fadden MD. It is the Brightening Elixir Protect and Repair Brightening Serum. Okay, so it is in a little pump. I'm going to put that back in there. That is the box. Let's see if I can find this item on the card. All right, I found it. So this is the Gold Fadden MD Brightening Elixir Protect and Repair Brightening Serum. Oh my, this is $80. <laughs> yeah. All right, so think of this serum as the workhorse of your skincare routine. It's packed with potent antioxidants like vitamins C, E, B3, B5, and ferulic acid to deliver serious brightening and firming results while protecting your skin from environmental damage too. Tip, instead of using the serum all over your face, you can use it as a spot treatment to help fade stubborn marks and dark spots. And the Ipsy HQ review... Uh, says, uh, confession, I may have spent a little too much time in the sun this summer. This brightening powerhouse is helping to repair all that damage. From Marta Topran, Topran, Senior Editorial Manager. I forgot to read the one from the review from the brush. It says, this brush is small but mighty. I love it for contour, blush, setting my under eyes, literally everything from Hannah Cassidy, Beauty Editor. So, all right. Let's pull this out. This is from Kenzie. So this is the Life Beat Body Lotion. That is what it looks like right there. So it says skin softening, check. Ultra moisturizing, check. Delicious smelling, check. Let's see if it has a safety seal. It has a safety seal. All right. Uh, this delightful lotion is infused with hydrating ingredients along with fruity and floral notes like citrus, coconut peach, magnolia, and jasmine to envelop your skin in an irresistible scent that lasts for hours. Tip, apply to damp skin as soon as you hop out of the shower to lock in extra moisture. The Ipsy HQ Review. Scented lotion is my new favorite way to smell amazing. This floral lotion is much more subtle than a concentrated perfume, yet lasts all day from Maddie Aberman, beauty editor. All right, let's go ahead and pull this out right here. This is from Pure Elise. It's the Matcha Green Tea and Lemon Detoxifying Charcoal Mask. So it says, want proof that you don't always need to spend dollar, dollar, dollar. <laughs> a lot of money, I guess, on facials to reset your skin, meet this 15-minute mask. It uses purifying charcoal to deep clean pores, antioxidant-rich green tea to nourish and protect, and brightening lemon to even out your skin tone. Talk about a multitasker. Tip, apply a thin lead layer to clean skin, let it dry for 15 minutes, then rinse in circular motions. The review, it's hard to find a detox, ma detox mask that doesn't leave my skin dry and irritated. And now that I've tried and loved this, it's become part of my weekly routine from Hannah Cassidy Beauty Editor. And it does have a safety seal on it. So that's good. Okay, next item. Uh, let's pull this out. This is from La Muse. It's the Deep Color Lip Balm in Cherry. Okay. Okay. I don't think it really smells like cherries, though. I don't think it smells like cherries. There's a lot of product there. All right. I just don't think it smells like cherries. All right. The nice thing is that it, like, twists in place. So that's really nice, actually. So, okay. Okay. So this is the Lemuse Deep Color Lip Balm in Cherry. No need to choose between comfort and color. This lip balm gives you the best of both worlds, intense hydration and a gorgeous tint, thanks to a blend of nourishing oils and buildable cherry red pigments. Tip, give your favorite cream or matte red lipstick a bit or a hit of, of hydration by layering this balm right on top. Uh, the review. If I had to pick a Desert Island product, it would be this balm. The pinky wash instantly li livens up my face, and it's so hydrating, I'm obsessed. From Hannah Cassidy, Beauty Editor. That I'm actually kind of excited about. A lot, actually. All right, next item in here. Let's see. Let's pull this out. That's a lot. All right, so this is from... Who is this from? Let me find it. Nature Lab Tokyo. So this is a perfect repair travel set. It's got a shampoo, conditioner, and mask. Ooh, that's nice. 
So, um, have you ever heat styled your hair? What about colored it? If you answered yes, then you need this reparative trio in your life. Complete with a repair shampoo, conditioner, and mask, you can say goodbye to dry, damaged, frizzy strands for good. Tip, swap out your regular shampoo and conditioner for this reparative duo, then work the treatment mask into your routine once a week. The review, it takes a lot to smooth and soften my bleached, heat-damaged hair. This trio passed the test with flying colors, plus the refreshing scent made my shower smell heavenly. From Maddie Aberman, beauty editor. Cool. I like it. All right. Oh, there's the bag, the bag, the bag, the bag. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So there it is on the inside and it has the one stripe on the side and it is a yellow and it's like a corduroy material. So that's actually cute. I like that. I like that a lot. Cool. All right. I'm going to put that aside over here. All right, let's pull out this. So this is just a wee little thing, but this is an expensive product. So this is the Sunday Riley Ice Ceramide Moisturizing Cream. Dry, flaky skin, meet your match. This dual action moisturizing cream infuses skin. Ooh, it smells really good. With plant-based hydrators and strengthens its protective barrier with ceramides for a supremely dewy glow that lasts for hours. The dream. Tip, new to retinol? This moisturizing cream is ideal for minimizing the anti-aging ingredients, dry, flaky side effects. The review. Sunday Riley does not disappoint. This clean formula is perfect for drier climates and chilly days thanks to one of my fave ingredients, ceramides, from Marta Topron, Senior Editorial Manager. All right, there's only a couple things left. Let's see where we're at here. There's those three, and then there's one other thing. Where's the, oh, let's do the one other thing, and then the other three are on the other side of the card. Okay, so this is from um, No, oh, this is from T Touch and Soul. It's a No Problem Priming Water. Um, this is definitely gonna go to my giveaway drawer because I already have this, I think. I'm pretty sure, I'll have to check my drawer, but I'm pretty sure I already have this. This is the priming water. So Flawless Foundation starts right here with a few drops of this smoothing and hydrating priming water. It uses two types of rose, Bul Bulgarian Damask Rose Oil and Pure Rose Water to moisturize and soften your skin on contact, creating the perfect canvas for makeup application. Tip, give your go-to foundation, CC cream, or tinted moisturizer an added boost of hydration by mixing it with a few drops of this priming water. The review, TBH, I haven't worn foundation in months. Hashtag WFH life. I love that this gives a my skin but better blurring effect while keeping shine in check from Marta Topron, senior editorial manager. Like I said, I think I already had that. So that's gonna come to one of you guys in the near future. All right, back to the other side of the card. There are three items left in my box. Let's go ahead and pull them out. So let's start with these two. This is from Pixie by Petra. It's two eyeliners. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen Duo in Black Caviar and Bronze Beam. I might actually have one of these. I might have the Bronze Beam. I'm not sure. These might go in my giveaway drawer as well. I'm gonna look at my collection, see what all I have, but we'll see. So. This hybrid eyeliner gives you the best of both worlds, the intensity of liquid liner with the ease of a pencil. One swipe of the silky cream formula leaves behind a shimmery color that holds up to water, sweat, humidity, you name it. Tip, place this liner in the freezer for a few minutes prior to sharpening for best results. Uh, Ipsy HQ review, as a self-proclaimed eyeliner hoarder, me too. Uh, I've tried pretty much every formula. This eyeliner pencil has quickly moved to the top of my list. I might actually give these to my sister. She's getting married next month in October, the first part of October, and she wants to have like a, a little bit of a smoky look. Um, and she wanted black eyeliner in her waterline. So maybe I will give this to her and see if she maybe wants to use either the black or the brown. I don't know. We'll see. I bought eyeshadow. I'm doing her makeup and I bought her eyeshadows um, that I'm going to use for her in uh, 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta. So, all right, let's go with this item because I think this is the one I picked. This is from Zueva. It's the Spice of Life eyeshadow palette. And I do have one other Zueva palette that I actually, I think I bought or maybe I got it in a beauty box. I'm not sure. So this is the Spice of Life palette. Ooh, there it is. So 
Go ahead and feast your eyes on these 10 delicious shadow shades. The collection is inspired by toasty spices and flavors. Indulge in the warm ginger and vanilla tones when you want a neutral vibe or kick things up a notch with the spicy saffron and cumin inspired shades. Tip for extended wear time, prep your lids with an eyeshadow primer before applying one or more of these shadows. So for the review, I've been desperately hanging on to summer, but this gorgeous palette makes me excited for fall. The colors are so warm and rich, and there's 10. From Pia Bhattacharya, Senior Beauty Editor. I probably crucified her name. All right, so that's cool. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the one item that I picked, so I'm happy about this. So, all right, last item in the box. This is from Kaja. It's the Beauty Bento in Rosewater. No, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It's the one in Rosewater. <laughs> All right, so this is cute. I've never bought any of these. These have always been really super cute. Look how tiny they are. And then you get a silver shimmer on the top. Oh, that one had a little piece of plastic in it. A pink shimmer in the center, or almost like a purple shimmer, actually. And then on the bottom is a deeper shimmer so that's pretty all right so this is the beauty bento bouncy shimmer eyeshadow trio in rosewater there's glitter that you save for a gno or halloween then there's glitter that you want to wear every day this trio from kaja is the latter the curated stack of shimmering rose tones is super pigmented, meaning it looks great on every skin tone. Tip, using a brush with these shadows will lead to glitter fallout. For the best results, swirl your finger in the shadow, then sweep it across your eyelid. The review and the award for cutest packaging goes to this Kaja eyeshadow trio. The high impact shimmer shadows are equally as stunning. Maddie Aberman, beauty editor. So I have the Kaja trio re, uh, just revisiting everything i got i got the kaja trio the shampoo conditioner and hair mask the zoeva eyeshadow palette the no problem primer water the brush the two eyeliners from pixie the little um moisturizer from sunday riley the serum from gold fat and md the kenzie body lotion the Pure Lease Charcoal Mask, the La Muse Lip Balm, the masks, the sheet masks. Is that everything? Did I get everything? That's a lot, but I think I picked up everything. And the card. Is anyone else as excited about the card as I am? Like, I am so excited about the card. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to let that go. Anyway. Props to Ipsy. I'm so happy to see the card back. All right, that's going to be it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you have not yet and you would like to be, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. Just to let you all know, I am looking at doing giveaways in the very near future as we head into the holidays if you were here with me in 2019 i did 15 days of giveaways from december 1st through december 15th i'm considering doing a weekly giveaway instead of a 15 day daily giveaway let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i always appreciate your feedback all right anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i do hope to see you on the next epic beauty veil bye guys